Hi everyone, my name is Parag Pal and welcome back in my new video. Guys, in this video, I am going to teach you if we have a long range of data and you have a specific number of columns, okay, with the name of the staff cost, MHR and something different, different things and you want to delete with an instant single click, okay, then how you can do that? As you can see, I have a very detailed data with me and I want to delete a columns with the staff name. So I can just select like this, right, and it will take my huge time. So, to minimize this work, what is the best suitable option? So, here we go. First of all, you need to press Ctrl F on your keypad. It means you need to find and replace. If you are not able to press Ctrl and F, you can go here, okay, find and replace and you can just click on a find, okay. So, this particular dialog box will appear. Now, you need to find the particular keyword over here. So, I want to search for staff cost, right. So, I will check for find all because I want to delete all the columns with the starting of staff cost. So I'll just extend this pop-up box and here you can see all the columns, all the sale names will reflect you which is having the name of the staff cost, right? So every sale is having the staff cost name after image. So what I'll do, I'll just drop down, just press shift and select the last of the uh, value. So you see 46 sales we have. Right now, what you have to do at this stage, we have selected all the staff cost column right now. Now, just close this one. Okay, now here we have to press that magic button from which we can delete all the column with a single click. So, you need to press control and minus button. Okay, so there is a pop up will come to delete. So, just click on an entire column and click on OK. Here we go, guys. If you just if I just come here, you can see all the staff cost column will gone, right? So this is a one of the easiest way to delete the column by which having, a, if you have a long range of data and a multiple columns with a specific name. Now just let's consider here the name as a MHR1, here name as a MHR1 and you are not supposed to identify where these are the name, uh, like um, where the specific column of the MHR1 is defined. You are not able to ad identify because there is a long range of data. Okay. So how we can do that? Let's try once again. Just press Ctrl F. Then you need to select MHR1. Okay. Space 1. Sorry. MHR space 1. Find all. So here you can see I have approximately 8 cells. Right. So just select all the, this data. Just close this. Ctrl minus and enter column C. Okay. So this is one of the easiest way to use the advanced Excel. I hope you understand guys. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.